Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I created a video because I've been busy with my class and other responsibilities at the university. Well, at least I have my time to create a short video for everyone or for all of you. Okay, so what we are going to do now is to have this pronunciation challenge. Okay, I will uh, show you a short poem, okay, made by Lord Cromer titled When the English Tongue Will Speak. So what are you going to do later is to read first the poem, okay, and then later you will try to identify the mispronounced words. Okay, so ready na ba kayo? Ready na ba kayo? Now, eto na. Timer starts now. Okay, now let's proceed to the next. So here's the next. Okay, so I think everyone is done or everybody is done. Okay, so tingnan natin. Ano kaya ang pinagkaiba-iba, okay, ng mga words na naka-underline. Okay, so tama nga ba yung pagkakabigkas natin ng mga salitang naka-underline? Okay, so yung susunod, ako naman. Alright, now it's my turn. So let me read. When the English tongue was speak, by Lord Cromer. When the English tongue will speak, why is break not rhyme with freak? Will you tell me why it's true? We say so, but likewise few. And the maker of the verse cannot rhyme his course with verse. Beard is not the same as herd. Cord is different from word. Cow is cow, but low is low. Shoe is never rhyme with foe. Think of hose, dose, and lose. And think of goose, and yet we choose. Think of comb, tomb, and bomb. Doll and roll, or home and song. Since pay is rhymed with say, why not paid with said I pray? Think of blood, food, and good. Mold is not pronounced like could. Where for dawn, but gone and lone. Is there any reason known? To sum up all, it seems to me, sounds and letters don't agree. Okay, so balikan natin. Okay, yung ating poem ni Lord Cromer. So isa-isahin natin siya. Tingnan natin kung saan nga ba tayo nagkamali. So on, so ano ko nagkamali, okay? So, the first one is break. Well, alam niya na yan. Next is freak. Alam niya na rin yan. And then, yung next word natin is so. So, siguro narinig nyo kanina, di ba? It's so, not sue. It's not suing machine. It's sewing machine. Okay? But likewise, few. Few. So, few. Next is horse. Circular, ellipse. Horse. The other one is worse. Verse, it's like you're smiling, okay? Next is beard. The other one is heard. Beard, ear, ear. The other one is heard, er. Next is cord, cord, circular. And then word, word, smile. Cow, low. Shoe, foe. Atong tatlong words na to, tingnan natin. Hose, dose. Lose. Yung first natin is Z sound, hose. The second word is S sound, dose. The third word is lose, Z sound. Hose, dose, lose. Next, and think of goose, and yet we choose. 
goose, S sound, choose, Z sound. And think of goose, and yet we choose. Ito na, yung next three words. Comb, silent B. Tomb, silent B. Bomb, silent B. Okay? So, it's comb, not comb, not comb. It's tomb, not thumb, not tomb. And the last is bomb, not bomb. Okay? Comb, tomb, bomb. Next is doll. The other one is roll. Rock and roll. Not rock and roll. Okay, it's roll. Next, home. And then the other one is song. Pay, say. Paid, said. Blood, blood. Food, food, good. Blood, food, good. Not good, it's good. Then mold, could, not cooled. Okay, silent L, could. Kasi minsan may naririnig pa rin ako na ang basa sa could ay cooled. Ang basa sa would ay would. Okay, it's would, could. But the other one is mold. Next, done, gone, loan. And yung last one, siguro napapansin nyo bakit, an nasa nakaparehas ni reason. Sometimes kasi ang pagbasa natin dyan is S. Reason. Yeah, puro reason, reason, reason. It's reason. Is there any reason no? So, it's Z sound. So, I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating simple poem by Lord Cromer na ang title ulit ay When the English Tongue Speak. So, Again, guys, thank you so much. Till next video, sana natutunan, may natutunan tayo. Okay, sana may natutunan kayo. Okay, so sa susunod ulit. Bye. Thank you.